Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about owning goats as pets. I feel like not enough people have realized how goats can actually make really good pets. Now, they're not the right pet for everyone, but I am going to be talking about what it's like having them as pets and what you need for them, so maybe you can decide if they are the right pet for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here because I do put out two new videos about animals every week. Now, it's important to remember that they can be pretty obnoxious. They will chew on your clothes and hair, and they need to be taught not to jump on you. They must be kept separate from your garden or flower bed because they will eat everything. And they just really don't give you personal space. But if that doesn't bother you, they are very friendly and can be similar to having a dog. My favorite thing is to take my pet goat Shiva hiking. He follows us through the trails and is better equipped for it than any of us. He is also trained to walk on a lead and knows his name. Now if you want to have a pet goat, the first thing you should do is find out if you can. In some cities, it is illegal to have what's considered farm animals in residential areas. And some neighborhoods have restrictions on the type of animals you can have. But if this does not apply to you, then you just need an area to fence off for your goats. It's very important for you to get at least two. Two will be easy to train and manage. Now goats are herd animals and they do need to be kept in pairs for their own mental well-being. For pets, I recommend two weathers. Those are boy goats that cannot have babies. Females are fine too and can be kept with weathers, but females are often more expensive to purchase. I do not recommend billy goats, which are males that can have babies because they stink horribly. They actually pee on themselves and they are more aggressive. Now when purchasing your goats, it would be best to have a vet castrate your goat to make it into a weather. Ask the breeder if this can be done instead of having the goat banded. Basically, a band is put over the testicles and they drop off. This is painful for the goat and they still have some billy characteristics. So it's much better to have it surgically done, since this is a lot less painful, they heal quicker, there's no discomfort, and there's a significant difference in the way that they act afterwards. They will not have any of the billy traits. Miniature goats can make good pets. I recommend breeds like Nigerian Dwarfs or Pygmy Goats. I'm often asked what the difference is. Both are small, but Pygmy Goats will be bulkier and stockier. Nigerian Dwarfs were bred for milk production. Well, pygmy goats were bred for meat. I have Nigerian dwarf goats. To really have a bond with your goat, I recommend getting them as babies and bottle feeding. Some people don't like this, but the goats grow up healthy and with no issues behavioral or health-wise. I bottle fed Buttercup and Bailey, and they're wonderful mothers to their babies. Just make sure you know how to do it before attempting it. Get a milk replacement for goats. Don't use cow's milk from the store, and do lots of research. It is not hard to bottle feed goats, but if done wrong, you will make your goat very sick and this can result in death. Getting your baby goats at about a week old is a good age for bottle feeding. That way they have had some of their mother's milk. You will need an area to fence off for your goats. It doesn't need to be a huge area, just large enough for them to run around and some things for them to jump on. The fence only needs to be about 4 feet high for miniature goats. Just don't put anything next to the fence that they can jump on and over the fence. Introduce them to a harness at a young age. They will see you as their herd and learn to follow you and stay with you. Even when your goats are still nursing, you can already start feeding them hay. They need grass hay to eat and it doesn't have to be very good quality hay. Goats stay healthy while eating cheap grass. Just make sure they don't lose weight. Grain is also good to feed them and can be essential for certain vitamins and minerals. And it's easily found at most feed stores. They don't need much. About half a cup to a cup is fine for one goat. Water should always be available even when they are nursing. If you would like to know more about keeping goats as pets, let me know in the comments and I might make more videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye! Goats, come here. Come over here. Come over here, come on. Shiva. Come on, Blue. Shiva.